wouldn't it be cool if you could just let go of negative emotions? If you could just, you know, maybe even more than that, trace back those negative emotions to the true cause and let that go so that the recurring patterns of emotions don't keep happening in your life. So you don't get that same anger. So you don't get that same fear. So you don't get that same worry or frustration. Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a very powerful technique that has really helped me in my own life and lives of many others that I've worked with to be able to overcome their own emotional problems, issues, traumas, griefs, loss, fears, you know, all of those emotional pains. And that's the faster EFT technique. Now, I talked about this technique when I shared my personal journey in releasing emotions, which I'm going to link above here. And I talked about how I use faster EFT to, to really uh, get a really good handle on overcoming my social anxiety that I had at the time. Now, what I will say is that in my opinion, faster EFT, for those of you who know about EFT or emotional freedom technique, faster EFT is more effective and faster and more efficient than regular EFT. However, it's not my preferred releasing technique. I did a whole video on my preferred releasing technique, which is the natural way to release. Uh, so if you want to look at that release technique, you can find the video right above me here. Also, will be at the bottom of the description of this video. And that's really the most powerful technique uh, out of any of them that I've tried. And I went through the gamut. <laughs> so if you want to learn how to let go of your negative emotions, I would definitely check out that video. Now, what this video is for, this video to me, Faster EFT, is like releasing on training wheels because it kind of does it for you, <laughs> you know? You don't really have to do it yourself. The technique kind of releases the emotion for you, which a lot of people love, and it's a really appealing part of the technique. The downside to it is that it involves tapping. It involves kind of tapping on your face, and the the whole procedure has, has a few different steps to it. And it and because of that, it's not quite as portable as the the spontaneous or the natural release technique in the other video. Um, and it's not something that you get as better with over time. So with this with the release technique, you will get better at it. It's a skill that you develop where you can become so good at it that just in the moment, spontaneously, you can just release the emotion. Super quick, super effective. So the way that, that, EF, that faster EFT and the release technique works to me is the release technique might start down here in terms of effectiveness, whereas faster EFT might start up here in terms of effectiveness because it does it for you. But... As you practice with the release technique, you get better and better with it. And that effectiveness and the efficiency of it ends up far surpassing the potential of faster EFT. However, if you just don't want to put in that, that effort to learn the release technique or you just want something different, I want to show you faster EFT so that you have it in your back pocket, so that you have it as a tool in your tube, tool belt if you ever need it. So... Let's go get. Let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you how to use, uh, how to release emotions faster EFT style. So what I want you to do is start off by thinking of a memory. We're not going to release any current emotions. We're going to start with something easier, as our first trial. So think of a memory, a specific event, a specific memory from the past, that's really only a couple minutes long, that when you think of it, it still bothers you. So you still feel some type of emotional intensity when you think of it now. It doesn't matter how much it bothered you in the past, but when you think of it now, does it bother you now? That's what we're looking for. And choose a memory of moderate intensity, like on a 3 to 7 rating. So like on a 0 to 10 scale, with 0 being no emotion, 10 being almost like overwhelming emotion, choose something between like 3 to 7. Don't go super intense the first try, 
but also don't go super low because then you won't even really know if it released or not. So choose something moderate. So go ahead and find that memory. It doesn't matter if it was years ago or if it was last week, go ahead and find it. If you need to pause the video, just pause the video to find that memory. Okay, good. So now that you have your memory, I want you to notice what emotion you feel and how you feel when you think of that specific event and give it a rating on a zero to 10. So you don't have to be, you know, if you don't know, just guess. A good guess is good enough. So on a zero to 10, pick a number. It might be a three, a five, a seven. Just go ahead and pick. Okay. So now I'm just going to have you follow along with me. I'm not going to really do a whole lot of explaining ahead of time. What we are going to be doing is we're going to be tapping on specific points that correlate to the meridian system, which is the energy system of the body. It doesn't matter if you believe in the meridian system because it doesn't matter if you even believe in this technique or not. It's an experiential thing. I want you to experience it for yourself. So what studies have shown is that when we tap on these points and we go through this procedure, that it calms the amygdala part of the brain, which is the, the emotional part, also part of the fight or flight limbic system of the brain. Uh, and it calms that down. It helps release the emotion. Now, before we start, I want you to now also think of a positive, good, loving memory. So think of a loving memory would be the best memory. If you can't think of a loving memory, think of a peaceful memory. So a loving memory might be something as simple as petting a pet or hugging a loved one or seeing your kids or whatever you, whatever you want to choose. Just think of a loving memory that when you think, when you think of that memory that you feel some sort of good loving feelings. If you can't think of any of those, then pick a peaceful memory like laying on the beach or a vacation or just something that was peaceful. Okay, so now we have a bad memory, the specific event that happened in the past, and now we have the, also the loving memory. We're going to need this loving memory in our back pocket, but we're going to put it aside for now. So now we're going to get into the actual technique. At this point, just follow along and follow directions. And you'll learn the technique just by going along with me. So what I want you to do is, again, think of that, that specific event, that negative memory. Feel how you feel. Notice where you feel it in your body. Maybe your chest, your stomach, maybe your throat, somewhere along here. Notice where you feel that negative emotion. And now... I want you to stop focusing on the negative emotion and instead focus on the sensation of the fingertips touching the skin. And I want you to start tapping. I'm tapping right in between the eyebrows, kind of like right on the side of the eyebrows. So we're just tapping right in the middle here. And then just repeat after me and say, I'm releasing and letting go. And tap on the side of the eye. This is right on the bone on the side of the eye here. And again, just focusing on the sensation of the fingertips, focusing here, and say, releasing and letting go. And then tap underneath the eye, again, right on the bone, and say, it's safe to let this go. And then tap on either side of the sternum, right underneath the collarbone, either side of the chest, and I actually use my thumb and my fingertips to get both sides. It doesn't matter what side of the body that you tap on. You can just tap on one or the other. It doesn't matter if you tap here or tap here. Either one is fine. I just tap both. And then again say, it's good to let this go and I'm releasing it now. Then I want you to take a big deep breath in. Blow it out. I want you to grab your wrist. I want you to say the word peace out loud. Peace. And now I want you to think of that loving memory. So just close your eyes. Keep holding your wrist. And think of that loving memory. We're completely getting immersed into this loving memory. We're not thinking about the bad memory anymore. 
We want to only feel the loving, good feelings from this memory. We're breaking from the negative state here. We're breaking from it. We're not continuing in the negative state. Once you feel like you feel those positive, loving, peaceful feelings, then go ahead and open your eyes. And now again, I want you to think of the negative memory and bring up as much emotion as you can. Don't leave any suppressed. Don't leave any hidden. Bring it up. Feel as bad as you can. Let yourself feel that emotion. Allow that to be okay. Notice where you feel it in your body. And now again, just repeat after me. Just focusing on the sensation of my fingers touching the skin now. No longer focusing on the emotion. Say I'm releasing and letting go. Side of the eye. I'm releasing and letting go. Under the eye. It's safe to let this go. Collarbone. Underneath the collarbone. It's good to let this go. And I'm letting it go now. Breathe in. Breathe out. Say peace. Grab your wrist, close your eyes, and get into that loving memory. Just for a moment. Immerse yourself in that loving memory. Feel those good feelings. And now open your eyes. Go back to the bad memory. And bring up as much negative emotion as you can about that bad memory. Notice where you feel it in the body. And now only focusing on the sensation of the fingers hitting the skin. Repeat after me. Say, I'm releasing and letting go. Side of the eye, I'm releasing and letting go. Under the eye, it's good to let this go. Under the collarbone, it's safe to let this go. I'm letting it go now. And breathe in. Breathe out, grab your wrist, say peace, and go to that loving memory. And open your eyes. And go back to the bad memory. Bring up as much negative emotion as you can. At this point, you probably recognize that the emotion has gone down a little bit. Some of you might have gone down a lot. Wherever you're at with that, just let that be okay. We're going to do a couple more rounds. Bring up as much negative emotion as you can. Put it all on the table. We can't clear it unless you put it on the table. So bring that negative energy. Put it on the, on the table. Feel that negative emotion. And now again, no longer focusing on the emotion. Just focus on the skin. Tap between the eyes and say, releasing and letting go. Side of the eye, releasing and letting go. Under the eye, it's safe to let this go. And the chest, it's good to let this go. And I'm letting it go now. And breathe in. Breathe out, grab your wrist. Say peace and loving memory. Get into that loving memory. Just feel that for a moment. Okay, last time, open your eyes, think of that negative memory, get into that negative emotion, whatever's left, bring up the remaining negative emotion, and then tap between the eyes, again, only focusing on the skin, say, releasing and letting go, the remaining emotion, side of the eye, releasing and letting go. Under the eye, it's safe to let this all go. Under the chest. It's good to let this go. I'm letting it go now. And breathe in. And out. Grab your wrist, safe peace, and loving memory. All right, open your eyes and now check. Go back to that negative memory. And see how much you can feel that negative emotion. For some of you, it's gone. 
For some of you, it's just less. If it's not gone, I would encourage you to replay this video and do it again until it gets to a zero. You want it to be a zero. You want to be free from it. Now, in the beginning, it might take a few rounds to get it to be a zero. As you practice with this, it does get a little bit more efficient and effective where it drops a little bit quicker. If for some reason it's not dropping at all, the reason for that is because you don't want it to drop, which means it's something that you feel you need to hold on to for whatever reason. And that's a conscious thing. It's not unconscious. You think it, it is not safe or it's not good for whatever reason to let this emotion go. So if that's the case, ask yourself this question. What good is holding on to this negative emotion doing for me? What good? The truth is there's no, there's, it's not doing anything good. Even if it's like grief about a loved one, you, pe that's, that's one that people try, tend to hang on a little bit more than others. And you might say to yourself, well, if I let this emotion go, I might just forget about them. But the truth is you're not going to, you're not letting any of the positive emotions go. So the real question to ask yourself is how would I want to best honor their memory? What I want to honor their memory by every time I think about them, I, I, all I feel is negative emotion or would I want to let that go? And when I think about them, all that I feel is the positive emotion and the loving memories that we've had together. So once you come to terms with that, then if you do the technique again, you'll find that the emotion is able to let go very easily. It was because you literally weren't letting it let go. But if you were letting it let go, you would find that this allows the emotions to really let go really quickly. And if you practice it just a few times, again, rewatch this video a few times. If this memory released, try it on a few different memories. Now I would highly encourage you to start with memories, specific events, that are very short, not like a whole day, because there's many different emotions in that day, but be as specific as possible. If you just tap on the general feeling of anxiety or general feeling of depression or something, you're not going to accomplish much because your brain has many reasons for why it should be feeling that way. And those reasons are built up as specific events and memories from the past. I'm not going to get a whole lot into that concept right now. I'm going to have other videos in the future that really go into that concept so that you understand it. But just trust me, for right now, start with memories, specific events from the past, and be very specific with that. If you want a tool that can help you release or at least know where to go with this so that you can get real tangible results, I have a gift for you in the description below. If you click that, it's a downloadable PDF that gives you the next steps on what to do um, for releasing emotions. It doesn't matter that that same PDF can be used no matter what releasing technique you're using, whether you're releasing with faster EFT, what we just did, or if you're releasing with the release technique, uh, which is in that other video that I already shared. That's also at the bottom of the description below. And that's my preferred technique, you know, but Whatever you want to use is completely fine. That downloadable PDF will work for either one because either way, we're just letting go of emotions. Now, if you do this and you try this, like let's say you have a lot of emotions about a very specific person and you go through every single memory that you can think of and you release the negative emotion that you had with that person with all of those memories. Just observe how you feel after that. Just observe how you start reacting to that person differently and just experience it for yourself. So, um, as far as faster EFT goes, the number of times that you tap isn't very important. Just tap a few times, like three to 10 times, something like that. It doesn't matter. Um, you, you want to be somewhat specific with your points, but you don't have to worry about being pinpoint specific. Just the general region right here will, will work just fine. And once, if you're still confused on how to do this technique, I really explained it, the whole thing. So just watch it a couple more times and practice with it and it'll become second nature. It's very easy to pick up and learn. If you have any questions about how this works, about why this works so well, 
about uh, you know anything else related to faster EFT or releasing, please leave it in the comments below. I love responding to you guys. I love answering your questions. So uh, don't hesitate to do that. So I hope this was helpful. This is a very, very, really awesome tool you can have in your toolbox as far as releasing emotions go. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll speak with you again soon. Take care.